show with a young team, a particular young team, is it important to let the guys know this is, you know, it's 17 games, you can't get too high, you can't get too low, you got to grind it out? Yeah, it's all about the process with us. And look, no matter, you know, whether it's really good or really bad, you know, it's important that we go back to the tape every week. We look at what we did well, we build on that. We look at what we did that we have to fix, we correct that. And we make sure that we understand not only what we see on tape, but what the opponent's watching as well. But we've got to have visual evidence of the things that we're teaching and we're emphasizing on the field for guys to see when they do it right or wrong, how it turns out for them. Uh, and to me, it's, it's all about, you know, kind of staying steady with the process and just buying it day by day. You got to put the work together to get the result. You, you can't ride the emotional roller coaster. And the reality is, guys, look, it's a league of extremes, right? One week, you're the greatest thing out there. Next week, you're the worst thing out there. You, you can't ride that emotional roller coaster. You just got to stay committed to the process and keep pushing forward every week and do a job every day so that on Sunday you can have rewards. Joe, the questions you had about your team coming into training camp, do you feel like you answered those? Or did the injuries kind of, like you didn't get to see your first team offense a lot together. You didn't get to see your first team offense line a lot together. Do you feel like you got the answers you needed or did injuries kind of prevent that? Well, it's always unfortunate when players get hurt. Uh, but I'd say in terms of the way I view it, Look, to me, September is really, I mean, an extension of preseason in a lot of ways. Obviously, it counts towards your record in the regular season, but throughout September, you're really figuring out your team. There's a lot of roster movement. There's guys that we're going to have on our roster on day one that we didn't go through training camp with. That's just a natural part of the National Football League. Uh, it'll be part of the process of us really identifying what we're doing well, uh, things we have to overcome, and keep improving as we go through it. But to me, you're never a final product to begin with, especially not early in the year. It's about going out there, having good fundamentals, giving you a chance with execution, and operating the situations. What do you want your offense to look like now? Smart, tough, and fundamentally sound. Do you, is there anything that you like to rely on? Like, you know, teams have staples. You know, we know when we need a few yards, we'll just you know, power run it. We, we can rely on that and rest on that. Do you well, there's always an aspect of that. Do you have here with these guys? Well, there's always an aspect of that. I mean, to me, it's always about playing your player strengths. And we've got to find out that formula. We've got to find out what that recipe is with these guys as we piece them together and we go out there and operate. There's always something you go with your base playbook of what you're going to install and what you're going to build on. But then you start finding out little by little as you go through the season, you know, what you really do well. We started out last year with a lot of, you know, outside stretch zone runs. And we found out, you know, as we went through the year, like, hey, look, we're better going downhill. And that's something we emphasize. Now, is that going to be mirrored and be the same this year? Right? I don't, we'll see. You know, we'll see where it goes too. We're going to work, you know, both schemes, both families and see what's better for us as a team. But you don't really have the answers at this point in the year. You've got to go with your base fundamentals of what you're doing. You've got to build on and really think more about the players you're playing with and what they do well than some magical scheme you got. I mean, if we all had Mr. Coach Klein's magical playbook from the water boy, we'd all be pretty good, but it's really about the players on the field. You know, and that's what we got to go ahead and rely on is what they do well. Joe, I think it was Dan who reported that Shane Lemieux has a partially torn patellar tendon. Is it? Do I have that right? I think I have that right. Um, I didn't read the report. Okay. I'm not going to con uh, comment on the specifics of any injury. Okay. Um, but it, would it be realistic that he could be a tough guy and play through that injury? Well, I think it's very realistic. He's a tough guy already. Uh, right. He'll be out there practicing with us today. He's going to practice today? Yes. Joe, uh, pass rush. I thought you, beyond Leonard having a great year like you, I thought you guys did something very difficult to do and kind of schemed a pass rush without a dominant edge rusher. Is it realistic to do that again, or is that really hard to repeat? Like, can Pat do that? Again? I don't know if that's a commentary on our roster. We have a lot of faith in the guys on our roster right now and the progress they're making. Look, to me, the pass rush, it's all tied together. It's all 11. It's not just one guy on the edge. Like, look, when Lawrence Taylor walks back in here, we won't worry about scheming anything. We'll just go ahead and let him rush off the edge. All right? But right now, we're going to rely on all 11 or to do their job. Starts with the coverage on the back end to deny quick access throws. It ties into the responsibilities with the mid-tier, the second level with the linebackers and drop-down safeties based on the defense. And then it comes down to the execution of the guys up front who are involved in the you know base four rush or the blitz. So can scheme help you? It can. It comes down to individual execution. All right. But in terms of can you out-scheme another team, we don't want to rely on that all the time. We just want to make sure we put our players in position to play to their strengths. Sometimes it may look like you know some kind of scheme, but for us it's week by week is a different plan. Are the two offensive linemen traded for? Are they going to be here in today? Uh, ben is making his way back over. Uh, Billy will not be today, but will be in the fall with us this week. Okay, so is it realistic for them to, like, what's the acclimation period process like? And is it realistic for them to be you know, ready to, if they need to start even in week one? I mean, we'll wait and see. It's our job to get them ready. And that's why we rely back on the offensive line coaches, the offense coordinator, myself as a head coach, special teams coaches involved in as well. We've got to do our jobs, give them the information. Make sure we can relate it to what they've already known so they can build on you know a faster transition into this offense and you know get them caught up as fast as we can. 
I mean, look, it's it's different than in previous years as well, where you may claim somebody and you're playing five days later. So you know, we have a couple extra days to work with. That's a bonus. That's something we're going to embrace with these players we're picking up. Uh, but obviously, you know, we've got to do a good job as coaches, you know, educating them, and they have to do a good job as players keeping up to speed and communicate with us of what they need more help on. You turned over that group a lot since the start of training camp. What's your, what's your comfort level as a whole with that group, especially with what you saw in the preseason from them? I have faith and confidence in all the players on our roster. And look, as I said before, this is a time of year there's more roster movement in the league than any other time of the year. Um, it's our job to do our due diligence and always know who's out there. And any decision we make, it's always for the best part of the team. Joe, uh, we saw you claim three guys. I don't know if you can tell us, do you know what the corresponding moves are? Or did you put anybody on short-term IR or release uh, anybody that? I'm going to hold on that right now until everything's final. Uh, in terms of the young guys that we claimed, uh, these are three guys we've known about, obviously two you know, being rookies this year, the other being a rookie last year. But there's guys that, you know, being young in their careers, we obviously knew coming out of college. You know, it's our job to know the league, to study who's out there, know who's available. And they're three guys that, you know, we're looking forward to working with and developing and, you know, give them a chance to come in here and compete. What will, uh, what will Saquon's uh, workload look like today? Uh, it'll be increased from what you saw last time. Obviously, yesterday was a walkthrough. I wouldn't count that. But from what you saw last week, you know, including him in New England, uh, it'll be increased from that. Including getting hit or is that still? Today's a shell's practice, so we're not going to be, you know, hitting each other today. Yeah. So tomorrow's a big day for him. I would assume that, that would be when you're going to. If we decide to go pads, it could be. You're not definitely going pads? Uh, I haven't decided yet. We'll see what teams have with a lot of things. Does the weather affect what you want to do with him? I mean, it's going to be on wet turf today. Is that going to is that playing a lot? No, no. I mean, the footing's the footing over there. We've got the shoes that we put on. We make sure that everyone's in the right footwear. That's you know best for them and safe for them. We work on the fundamentals of planning off you know the correct foot, the right body position all the time. No, look. I mean, to be honest, we haven't had a rain day yet. At training camp. This kind of a blessing today. Hopefully, it comes down a little bit for us. Um, you were at Miami's pro day. Did Roche work at that? What, he did. What do you remember about him from that? Yeah, you know, I remember having a good day down there. Um, obviously, he's a good-sized player. He's got some, you know, short area quickness, initial burst. Uh, he's got a good motor. You actually go back and watch his tape. You can watch Miami. You can go back to his days at Temple. Uh, there's enough on tape that makes you interested. Um, he played a lot down in Pittsburgh, you know, this preseason. So there's enough tape to go ahead and evaluate and kind of project. That's part of our job is projecting. So. You know, excited to have him in here to start working on him. Joe, one of the mantras that uh, some of the veteran guys have been using lately is you have to learn how to not lose, stop losing before you can win. I don't know if that comes from you or, or elsewhere. Did, did that happen last year, or, or does that have to happen again? You know, where, where are you in that process? I think that's always part of the game. You know, look, there's a lot of parity in this league, right? There's a lot of talent. Teams are, you know, the league is structured that the worst teams have the earliest draft pick. You get compensatory picks for players you lose in free agency. The league is built for parity. All right, there's good coaches on every team. There's good players on every team. You know, it, it's too close a competition. You know, over a third of the games, I believe the stat is right now, are decided by three points or less. So mistakes kill your chance of winning. You know, we talk all the time being smart, tough, fundamentally sound. That ties into being smart, know the assignment, the execution, tough, physically and mentally tough. Be able to go out there and handle adversity, and then fundamentally sound for a position to have good execution every play. Every good play starts with good fundamentals. So, you know, we're always stressing those three principles to make sure that we're not having turnovers, penalties, mental errors. That's obviously a key component for us. It's tough enough to win a game in the National Football League if you put yourself behind the eight ball with self inflicted wounds, it becomes even tougher. We'll, we'll, practice, we'll practice five guys uh, be practicing with you today. We'll have some. I'm not going to go through the whole list when we have it finalized. We'll release to everybody. Uh, we, will, we should have some guys out there today with us. Any update on Evan? You know, to be honest with you, there wasn't really much to report on from yesterday. Uh, he wasn't out with us on the field. He was with the trainers. Um, yesterday was really kind of a down day for him in terms of what it is. I don't think we're going to have anything hard evidence-wise, Pat, probably in these next couple days. You know, the plan is really give him a few days, which extends really through this weekend, see how his body responds and see where he's at. Have you heard anything from the league about the Saints game yet? Uh, you know, no, I have not. I mean, obviously, look, we got a lot of guys in here with, you know, ties down south, ties specifically in Louisiana. Um, so there's a lot of guys we're constantly talking to about their families down there and, and how everyone's doing. So our thoughts and prayers are obviously with the people down there and that storm. Uh, a lot of us are down there through Katrina, so it's kind of, you know, you think back to 16 years ago, what it was would look like this time of year. It was a different time. Uh, in terms of the game itself, I know they've relocated. I don't have anything on the logistics of that. I'm sure the operations department will you know, handle that. Um, and wherever they decide to play, that's where we'll be. But it won't be here? I can't rule that out. Uh, I haven't had a conversation about that at that point. To be honest, we've been so busy on personnel stuff and the end of training camp and our own install, I really haven't spent much time on where that game's going to be.